St. Remigius, Bishop of Rheims, 533, Remis Gaul. Here followeth of St. Remigius, and first the interpretation of his name. Remigius is said of Remi, that is to say feeding, and Geos, that is earth, as who say feeding the earthly people with doctrine. Or of Gion, that is a wrestler, for he was a pastor and a wrestler he fed his flock with the word of preaching, with suffrages of praying, and with example of conversation. There is three manner of armor that is for the defense, the shield, for to fight, the sword, for his salvation and health, the hauberkin and helm. He wrestled against the devil with the shield of faith, with the sword of the word of God, and with the helmet of hope. Ignatius Archbishop of Rhymes wrote his life. Of the life of Saint Remigius. Remigius, an holy doctor, and confessor glorious of our Lord, was to for his birth provided of our Lord, and foreseen of a holy hermit. When the persecution of the Vandals had almost wasted and destroyed nigh all France, there was a man recluse, holy and virtuous, which had lost his sight, which oft prayed to our Lord for peace and welfare of the Church of France. He had on a time a vision, and him seemed an angel came to him and said, Know thou that the woman that thou knowest named Belion shall bring forth a son that shall be named Remigius, which shall deliver all the country from this persecution. And when he awoke he came to the house of this Belion and told to her his vision, and she would not believe it because of her age. The recluse said, It shall be so as I have said, and when thou hast given thy child suck, thou shalt give to me of thy milk, to put upon mine eyes, and therewith I shall be whole and recover my sight again. And like as he said all these things happened. And the woman had a child named Remigius, which when he came to the age of discretion, he fled the world, and entered into a reclusage. And sith after, for the great renown of his holy life, when he had been twenty-two years there and he was elect and chosen to be Archbishop of Rhymes. He was so debonair that little birds came and ate on his table and took meat at his hand. It happened on a day that he was lodged in an house of a good woman which had but a little wine in her tunnel or vessel, and Saint Remigius went into the cellar and made the sign of the cross upon the tun, and prayed a while. And in the tun was so full that it leapt over, by the merits of the good saint. Now it happened that Clodovius the king of France, which was a Paynim, might not be converted for any preaching that his wife might do, which was a Christian woman, unto the time that a great host of ailments came into France. Then by the admonishment of his wife he made a vow that if the god that his wife worshipped would give him victory, he would be baptized at his returning from the battle. Thus, as he demanded, he vanquished the battle, and after came to Rhymes to St. Remigius and prayed him that he would christen him. And when St. Remigius baptized him he had no chrism ready, then a dove descended from heaven which brought the chrism in an ampoule of which the king was anointed and this ampoule is kept in the church of St. Remigius at Rhymes of which the kings of France be anointed when they be crowned. St. Remigius had a niece which was married to a clerk named Genebaldus, which by devotion left his wife for to enter into religion. Then St. Remigius saw that the sea of Rhymes was over great, and ordained a sea of a bishopric at Laon and made Genebald first bishop of that place. When Genebald was bishop his wife came thither to see him, and he remembered of the privily that they were wont to have together, and lay on a night with her and engendered on her a child. When his wife knew that she was great and let him have knowledge thereof, and when he wist that it was a son, he commanded that it should be named Thief, because he had engendered it by theft. After for to quench the suspicion and the words of the people, he suffered that his wife should come to him as she did tofore, and Annan after she conceived a daughter, whom he commanded to name a fox as whelp, and after came to Saint Remigius and confessed him of his sin, and took the stole off his neck, and would leave his bishopric, but Saint Remigius, after he had confessed him, comforted him, and gave him penance, and shut him in a little cell seven years long, and gave to him bread and water, and in the meanwhile he governed the church himself. At the end of seven years an angel came to the prison, and said to him that he had done well his penance, and bade him go out of the prison. To whom he said, I may not go out, for my lord St. Remigius hath closed the door and sealed it. And the angel said to him, Know thou that the door of heaven is open to thee. I shall open this door without breaking of the seal which St. Remigius hath sealed. And Anna the door was opened. 
Then Genobald fell down in the midst of the door in manner of a cross, and said, If our Lord Jesus Christ came hither I shall not go out but if Saint Remigius, which shut and closed me herein, come and bring me out. And then the angel went down and fetched Saint Remigius and brought him to Laon, and he delivered him out of prison, and remised him and sent him again in his sea there, where he lived after, all the days of his life, O Lily. After his death, Thetis' son was made bishop after him, which is also a saint in heaven, and at the last saint Remigius, after that God had shown many miracles for him, he departed out of this life unto everlasting joy the year of the incarnation of our Lord 500. Amen.